have a lot of fears. Part of my fears with my daughter Treasure is fear of the unknown. I feel like I don't know where things are headed. My views on African Americans will not be a problem in the future for me. And as long as I have a mouth, I most definitely will express my opinions. My fear with my sister and her crazy views is that she's gonna say the wrong thing to the wrong person. My worst fear is that my daughter Treasure will put on a white sheet and join the Ku Klux Klan. If my mom is afraid that I might join the Ku Klux Klan, the only thing that she needs to know is, I may just do it if they offer me a hood. What is it that's caused you to have such self-loathing and, and self-hatred that you're so rejecting of who you are? You, you project it onto others, but you, you, you're clearly describing yourself when you say that. <laughs> and I'm just wondering... That's funny. What is it... Uh, what have you done that's made yourself so upset with you? Well, I mean, I don't have any problems with myself. I honestly think that God made one perfect person. It's me. And, I mean, I just... I just well, I don't have any issues with myself, necessarily. I feel like black people should just be put in a different place. Let's say that, because I'm not going to say anything too extreme, because I know they're around and you'll, they get all angry and stuff. Black okay. people are very chaotic. Okay, well, let's, okay let's, let's take that out of it. Let's take that out of the conversation for a okay. minute. Let's, let's just completely forget about, about race and African Americans. Let, let's forget about that completely. Well, that's hard for me to do. Well, but let's try it. You said you're very intelligent and that you're the perfect person, okay. so I'm sure you can achieve whatever you see, yeah, set out true. to do. All right. All right. So I'm curious how you define empathy. I don't have any. I feel like if you have empathy, then you have sympathy for someone. You know, like if I see a homeless person on the street and I give him a dollar, then I have empathy for him. I feel like, oh, wow, he's homeless. But honestly, for me, if I gave a homeless person a dollar, I would take it back just because I would like to see the, the sadness on his face of me, you know, tricking him, thinking I'm going to give him money. Uh -huh. So you don't wish other people well? No, not at all. Okay. Why would I? Well, I'm, I don't know. I'm just asking. So the person that you would decide as ideal would not be someone that would wish others well. No, not at all. I don't believe uh -huh. in sacrifices for other people. No, especially. that's not sacrifice, just that you would wish others well. No, not at all. Uh -huh. No, I don't care about people. People just aren't on the same level as me. People are really low to the ground and I'm like in the clouds, kind of. Like they're just up, I'm, in I'm some up here, whole other they're world. down here. Like there's separate levels for like, I believe that we're in two different lanes, you know? You're saying an, an ideal person does not care what happens to other people. Yeah. And so everybody else, you would wish them to fail while you succeed. Yes, most definitely. Okay, yeah. gotcha. That's how you only make it in life. If you don't do that, then where are you going to be? Uh -huh. 